Hello all, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about material design and text field in Android. I will develop the application like this in which I will provide the start icon for name, password, phone number, email and city as well as I will provide the required field as well as I will provide the counter like this. It means that whenever user enter the character, for example, I'm entering the character that is Parag Shukla. Then it displays the length that is 12 characters you have entered. And whenever user enter the character more than 30, then it will display the arrow like this. And whenever user enter the proper 30 character, then it will not display the error. And whenever user click on this clear text, then the text must be clear from this. And whenever user provide the password, for example, I'm writing the password that is para, then I want to provide the facility for the toggle that is so password, hide password, so password, hide password. As well as whenever user click on this phone number, I want to provide the prefix and that is plus 91. So whenever user enter the number, prefix will be added over here. In case of email, I want to provide the suffix and that is at the rate gmail.com. So user just need to provide the user name and I want to provide the city so user can select the city that is from the autocomplete text view and user can select the city over here. So let's do the same thing practically in Android. So first of all, you can just click on create new project. Then you can choose the empty activity and then you can click on next. Here you can provide the name of your application. I'm providing the name of my application is material design demo and here you can click on finish. Once the greater build is done, you can simply hide this project explorer. Then you can click on activity main.xml file. Here you can just click on split and here you can just click on so system user interface. I don't want this text view. So I'm just simply removing this text view. Now I want to add the name, password, phone number, email and city and for every text field I need the icon. So let me first add the icon so you can just click on project then you can click on resource and then you can click on drawable. Here in drawable you can just right click new and you can click on vector asset. Here you can just click on clip art and here you can just write the person. So here person icon is there. You can simply take this and you can just click on next and finish. So see here person icon is added. Now I want the another icon. So I'm just right click on drawable new vector asset. You can click on clip art and you can add the icon that is password lock. So I'm taking this icon that is the lock icon. You can click on next and finish. Now I need the third icon. So I'm just right click on drawable new. You can just click on vector asset and you can search for the clip art. Now I want the icon for the phone. So I'm just taking the this phone icon and you can click on OK next and finish. Now I need the icon for the email. So I'm just right click new and here you can take the vector asset. And here you can just click on clip art and here you can search for the icon and that is email. So I need this icon that is email. Now you can just click on next and finish. Now I need the last icon and that is for the city. So I can just right click on drawable new vector asset and I can just click on this clip art and you can search for city then you will be able to find location city and then you can click on OK, next and finish. So I have taken five icon for five edit text. Now I want to add text field and that is for the name. So you can just search into this palette and you can search for text input. So you will be able to find this text input layout. You can simply move drag and drop this text input layout over here in the design and then you can just click on infer constraint. Now in this text field, I want the hint that is a name. So instead of this hint, I'm writing here the hint that is name. Now I want the icon and that is the person icon. 
So you can add the property that is a start icon drawable and you can select at the rate drawable slash person icon. So person icon will be available over here. Now I want at the last that is the clear text option. So here you can add the property and the property is and icon mode clear text. So now you can just taste these two properties. So you can simply run this particular application and your application will be launched into this emulator. See here icon person is available over here and now whenever you enter the text for example Parag then clear text option is available over here. You can simply clear this and that is possible using this and icon mode property. Now I want to write the text and that is the required. So you can write the text over here that is a helper text that is required. So helper text required will be available over here. But I want to write here star and I want to make here color of this required is red. So you can add here the property that is helper text text color and the color is as F00. So this required field color will be red. Now I want to add the counter. So here you can add the property that is counter enabled is equal to true. So what happens see counter zero is available over here. You can simply run this particular application and you will get the result into emulator. See here the counter is available whenever you enter the character. For example, I'm writing the character Parag Shukla. See here 12 letters I have entered over here. It displays the counter over here. You can simply remove this. See counter is zero, but I want to define the maximum length also. So here we can define that is counter max length and that is 30. So what happens see here it displays that the counter maximum length is 30. Now I want to add the another text field and that is for the password. So again you can search for text input layout and you can simply move drag and drop this particular control over here. Now you can just click on infer constraint then you can just move to your control and instead of hint you can write here that is password now i want the password input so you can write here input type that is text password now i want to provide the start icon so you can write the property over here that is start icon drawable and here you can add the icon that is the lock icon so see here lock icon is available over here. Now I want to provide the password toggle over here. So for that you just need to write here and icon mode that is password toggle. So password toggle option is available over here. Now you can simply run this particular application and you will be able to see that the lock icon is available password toggle is available. So see here application is launched. Now you can enter the password over here. Now you can simply so and hide so and hide and this is the icon for the lock. Now I want to add the phone number so you can simply search for text input layout again and you can simply move drag and drop this particular layout into your design. Now here you can just click on infer constraint. Now in this layout I want to provide the hint and that is phone number. Now my input must be that is phone number. So here we can add the property input type and that is phone. Now I want to provide the start icon. So here we can provide start icon drawable and that is phone. Now I want to provide the prefix text and that is plus 91. So you can add prefix text and that is plus 91. So what happened whenever you run this particular application and whenever you enter the digit by default plus 91 will be added to your phone number. So what happened you can see here see plus 91 is added but I want to change the color of this prefix text then you can use the property that is prefix text color and that is as F00 so it will be red. You can simply run again and you will be able to see your effect over here. See here I am entering 
the mobile number and that is for example 90990 see here plus 91 is added over here and if you want the theme color then instead of this prefix a text color red you can take the color and that is color primary so what happened whenever you take the color primary it will take the theme color into your plus 91 text see here whenever you click over here see here plus 91 text having the same color that is available with the font now you can add the font number now i want the another text field and that is for the email so you can just search over here that is a text input layout and you can simply move drag and drop your text input layout into your design and then you can click on infer constraint then in this particular layout instead of hint you can write here that is email address now here we can add the property that is input type is equal to text email address and here we can add the start icon so here in start icon we can add the email so see here email is available now i want to provide the suffix text and that is at the rate gmail.com so you can add suffix text and here you can write slash at the rate gmail.com now you can simply run this particular application and you will be able to see the effect into your emulator so what you can see whenever you enter the email address for example parag by default at the rate gmail is available over here and whenever you enter the phone number by default prefix text is available over here but whenever user provide the phone number over here i want to provide the custom icon over here that is the and icon that is custom so is it possible yes it is possible what we can do very simple this is my phone number layout here in phone number layout we can add that and icon mode is equal to custom now i want to add the circle check icon so you can just move to your project explorer drawable you can just right click new and you can select the vector asset here instead of this clip art city you can search for and that is a check and you can add check circle and then you can click on ok next and then you can click on finish now i want to add and icon over here that is a check so you can add the property that is end icon drawable and that is circle check so what happens see in the phone number whenever you run this particular application see here whenever you run you will be able to see here see this is the check circle icon so now you can enter the phone number and as this is the phone type this is input type is phone it will take only digit right now i want to add one more control over here and that is for the city so here we can just search for text input layout and we can move drag and drop this text input layout over here now we can just click on infer constraint in this control we can just write instead of this hint we can write here that is a city here we can add the start icon drawable and that is location city now here i want to provide the drop down so instead of this text field i want over here and that is auto complete text view so you can simply write here that is auto complete text view width is match parent and height is wrap content so this is the control that i want over here inside this text input layout now here we can add the hint property and the hint property is what that is CD. now here we can add the id property and the id property is what that is auto complete text view so this is the id of this my auto complete text view now i want to add the CD, and that is for example rajkot randanpur surat ahmedabad like that so here you can just move to your code that is main activity dot kotlin file here you can write variable atv is equal to find view by id now you can cast it into auto complete text view and you can search for the id that is r dot id dot auto complete text view 
we need the data so i'm taking here variable cd is equal to array of and you can write the data over here for example i am adding the city ahmedabad rajkot surat junagadh now you can declare the variable adapter over here which is of type array adapter of string you can provide three parameters over here the first one is the context second one is the layout so you can write here android dot r dot layout dot simple drop down item one line and then you can bind your array that is a city and then simply you can call the function that is autocomplete text to dot set adapter and you can pass your adapter now you can simply run this particular application and you will be able to see see here but whenever you type here r8 then and then it is giving me suggestion that is raj code whenever i am writing here for example a h then it gives me a suggestion for the Ahmedabad. but i want to provide here that is the expose drop down so is it possible yes it is possible and for that you need to add the property over here and that is a style so here we can add the property that is a style and here in the style we can write drop down and that is material component dot text input layout dot expose drop down now you can run this particular application and you will be able to see the data over here see here city now you can choose the city for example i'm choosing the city that is raj code see here city raj code now whenever you enter the email address the suffix will be there that is at the rate gmail.com Whenever you enter the number, the prefix will be there and that is plus 91. Whenever you enter the password, the toggle is there and that is so password, hide password. And whenever you enter the name, the limit of the character will be there and that is 30 character. You cannot enter more than 30. If you provide here, then it will be converted into error and you can clear the text also. So this is the way you can implement material design in Android. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.